For decades, he was the most powerful politician in the state of Illinois. Now Mike Madigan is facing a 22-count indictment that alleges he participated in an array of bribery and extortion schemes from 2011 to 2019 with the purpose of using his power for personal gain. Former FBI agent and security expert Ross Rice is joining me this morning to give us a little insight into this. Good morning to you, Ross. Thanks for coming back and joining us this morning. My pleasure, Sylvia. So this is incredible, is it not? I mean, the longest serving leader of a legislative chamber in the nation. Everyone knew he had his grips on the state legislature. He was in control for so long. Other people were getting indicted until recently nothing ever touched him. What do you want to say about the significance of this case overall? Well, I think it's a tribute to uh, the FBI and the IRS and the U.S. Attorney's Office to have the diligence to put this together. Um, it, it wasn't something that happened overnight. Um, this investigation first went public in 2019 with the execution of a, a number of search warrants at various locations. But if if you follow the story closely and you look at the indictment, a key element of this was the cooperation of former Alderman Danny Solis. And it's been reported that he was working with the uh, with the FBI for at least five years prior to 2019. So this has been ongoing for a number of years. The amount of evidence that uh, has been accumulated to secure an indictment of this size is truly overwhelming. And I, I just think it's a monumental uh, job and, and everybody involved in the investigation should be commended. Let's talk a little bit more about that because you talk about Solis. We also know uh, that Madigan was friends with former state legislator and lobbyist Michael McLean, who's now facing separate charges. What do you think is going on behind the scenes? Um, because new charges have been also brought up against McLean. Some say this is being used to get him to cooperate with the feds. Well, you're right. McLean is a co-defendant in the uh, indictment that was returned yesterday, and he and Madigan are alleged to be the the enterprise that was um, at the heart of the indictment. Uh, it certainly could be used as pressure. Uh, I don't think in the overall scheme of things, um, McLean is the, the main target of the investigation. He was certainly an integral part of this. He was definitely a co-conspirator, but you always want to move up the chain, and and certainly Mike Madigan, uh, according to the indictment, is is the person at the center of the investigation. Might this be added pressure for McLean to make a deal and cooperate? It, it certainly could be. What he's going to do, we'll have to wait and see. So 22 counts, that's a lot. As you said, a massive investigation involving multiple agencies. Uh, what do you think is going to happen next? Um, with your experience in doing investigations like this and getting people to cooperate like a Solis, are we going to hear more names? You know, other names are kind of being whispered in the background. Um, is that a lot to do about nothing or you think there's more to come? Oh, I definitely think there's more to come. Uh, it doesn't appear that the Alderman Solis was just dealing with Michael Madigan. I'm sure he was dealing with others. Uh, during the time period that he was cooperating with the FBI. And undoubtedly, he was recording those conversations as well. Uh, electronic surveillance, court-authorized electronic surveillance was utilized in this case. Uh, I'm sure there are thousands of hours of uh, conversations that have been recorded that are being sifted through. And I, I wouldn't be surprised to see more indictments regarding other individuals and other illegal activities. Uh, coming forward at some point in the future. If you just go through and look at the indictment and all the other individuals that are uh, identified but not by name, uh, it's it's a very long list of potential co-defendants. Right, so more to come. Ross Rice, appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you uh, for giving us your perspective. We always appreciate it. Good to see you. Always a pleasure.